Before we get started, I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of the content that is released by Go Collect. And if you're interested, head over to Reggie Collects here on YouTube. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector and the host of the Go Collect Speculation video. And I want to welcome you to another episode. In this episode, we are going to spend some time talking about several different topics from books you want to avoid, books you want to pick up, and some spooky books that might be right up your alley because it is, after all, pretty close to Halloween. Before we dig into the six blog posts in this episode, I want to give you guys a reminder about something that was recently launched by Go Collect. If you happen to be a social media influencer with an audience somewhere between 500 to 10,000 people, Go Collect is looking for you. And they recently launched their ambassador program. And there is a link down in the description of this video that provides you with all of the details around what Go Collect is offering influencers like you, but also what they're offering your audience as well. If you're interested, as I mentioned, the link is in the description. Click on it and check out all of the details. The very first blog post that we're going to talk about is honestly one that is near and dear to my heart. And it's near and dear to my heart because if you could see my whiteboard off to my left hand side, it contains a note about secret wars. There is a secret project that I am working on associated with secret wars, and there are several reasons for that. Um, and, and I'm not gonna get into the details here, but the blogger does a really good job of highlighting why you may wanna take a look at Secret Wars issue number one, which is essentially the start of the Copper Age. And the bloggers making the argument that this, this book is finally starting to get its just due. And because of that, it could potentially be a book that you wanna check out. For his part, the blogger takes a look at two copies of Secret Wars, specifically the regular Secret Wars issue number one, as well as the second print. And in the blog post, the, the blogger highlights the last sales prices and the returns associated with these two books. And I will tell you that Secret Wars issue number one at a 9.8 has a healthy return at over 70%. If you believe some of the rumors that exist about potentially the MCU moving towards the Secret War, or if you just want to start investing in Copper Age books, this could be a blog post that you want to check out. It's pretty close to Halloween, and this next blog post I think is really awesome because it takes a hard look at a, and to some degree or another, an often overlooked niche in comics. Because when many people think about comic books, they automatically think about superheroes. But there is so much more, as we all know, so much more to comics. There are so many different genres. But this blogger spends some time talking about some horror-related books that you may want to check out. And what they did is they actually looked at several different levels from the entry level to the, to the medium level all the way up to like the more expensive grail type of comics, which I think is really good because the blogger is basically saying no matter where you are in terms of what you want to invest, there is a really awesome horror book that you could potentially pick up. And I'm not going to touch on each one of these books because I definitely want to encourage you guys to check out this blog post. The link is down in the description but I will highlight two awesome books that you may want to check out. The first is at the entry level and the blogger talks a little bit about Jason and Leatherface issue number one from 1995. And this book is essentially bringing together two powerhouse 
horror type of movies in Leatherface and also with Jason into one awesome comic. And I was a huge fan of of horror movies back in the day and technically I still am. And so this is one that definitely captured my attention. At the other end of the spectrum, the blogger talks about what I think is a fantastic book. That book being Crime Suspense Stories issue number 22 from EC Comics. The cover of this comic is incredible. It is incredible and at some point, I will buy a copy of this book. Just not today, <laughs> but at some point I will. But as I mentioned, the blogger does a really good job of kind of talking about these two bookends, but then also some, some medium price books in the middle. The link to this blog post along with all of the others that I'm going to talk about in this episode are down in the description. Check it out. So I want to applaud this next blogger uh, because they do a really fantastic job of challenging something that I've been hearing for the last couple of years within the, the hobby. And there are people that are saying that comics are getting too expensive and because of that, they are choosing to leave the hobby. And I won't disagree that I think that comics are expensive. I will not disagree that, with that. But the, the idea of leaving the hobby because of that, I struggle with that part of it. And the blogger does a really good job of, of saying to people that there are lots of ways that you can enjoy this hobby. You don't have to just buy the expensive books. You can actually buy uh, some obscure books. You can upgrade books that are in your collection. You can work on collecting foreign editions. And then there's the different genres that exist. And the blogger, for his part, highlights that there were a couple of really expensive books that he wanted to obtain. And once he did, he started to look for ways to challenge himself and to still enjoy the hobby and is presently working on getting the first 100 issues of the X-Men. And yes, there are a couple of books there that are expensive, but a lot of them are not terribly expensive. My point, and I think the blogger's point as well, is that this is a fantastic hobby that offers us lots of different ways to enjoy it should we choose to pursue those avenues. If anything that I've just said in the last 30 seconds uh, captures your attention, I want to encourage you to check out this blog post. If you have a friend or a peer or something like that that has left the hobby or is struggling with this, Share this blog post with them. Encourage them to find other ways to remain in the hobby. The next blogger, I think, does a really fantastic job of providing us with a cautionary tale. There are a lot of people out there that believe that comics only move in one direction, that they only go up in price. And that is not true. And our next blogger actually highlights just how untrue that actually is by highlighting five books and, and basically saying these are books that you want to avoid. Uh, and this, again, is a speculation video, but I, I love the cautionary note to say, look, books can go up, but they can also go down as well. And that's what's really great about this blog post is that it's a nice way to kind of level set expectations. The blogger, as I mentioned, talks about five different books in the performance of those books, starting with Amazing Spider-Man issue number 798. At a 9.8, this book has a negative return of 75%. A year ago, this book was selling for $100 and has fallen to $25. Next up is Captain America issue number 100. At a 5.0, this book has a rate of return at 2% and has remained relatively flat at about $280. Next up is Doomsday Clock issue number one. A 9.8 of this book was selling two years ago for $90, but has fallen to $44 with a negative return of 65%. There are a few other books on the list that we are not going to touch on, but again, you might wanna check this one out because again, this is a, a fantastic cautionary note that illustrates the point that books can go up in value, but then they can also come down. But 
to some degree or another, others may look at this and say, well, that's a great buying opportunity. So you may want to check out this blog post and decide for yourself where you land with this type of information. The DC rumor mill is working overtime and our next blogger spend some time talking about the rumors that exist right now. And I'll tell you, I am excited about some of these rumors and have spoken about them on my own show recently, specifically the recent one around Static Shock and Michael B. Jordan. I am pumped about this one. I have to admit, very excited and looking forward to the possibilities of what may come. The blogger, yes, talks about Static Shock in this post, but they also talk about a few other rumors that are currently circulating about DC Comics. The first one that the blogger talks about is associated with a character by the name of Vixen. And Vixen had her first appearance in Action Comics issue number 521. And according to comicbookmovie.com, DC Comics is looking to move forward with a project associated with Vixen. And if these rumors happen to be true, this could potentially be a book that you want to check out. Next up on the list, the blogger talks about a character associated with Black Adam. Specifically, they are looking for someone to play opposite of The Rock in the Black Adam movie. And the character that we're talking about goes by the name of Ishmael or Sabic. And Sabic is actually an old character in DC Comics. He made his first appearance in Captain Marvel Jr issue number four in 1943 and i'll be honest with you i don't know how easy it will be to get your hands on that specific book and the blogger points out another book that might be a little bit easier to find and i think we'll all be very thankful for that one the book that the blogger talks about is justice league issue number 21 and this was the reintroduction of the character so again if you can't find the book from the 40s you might want to check out the more recent one. This blog post is easy to find because it is down in the description. Check it out and get caught up on all the DC related rumors. Speaking of rumors, there are a lot of people that believe that America Chavez is going to appear in the upcoming Doctor Strange movie. And I can tell you that the first appearance of this character is already pretty pricey. And I think that the blogger believes that this character is going to appear because they take some time in this blog post talking about some books that you may want to check out, specifically some second prints of America Chavez issue number one. And we're not going to talk about all these books, but I am going to touch on them very, very briefly. The very first book that the blogger talks about, of course, is America issue number one. And they highlight the cover A with the gold trade dress as well as the hip hop and sketch variants. And they also break down the print runs and the quantities associated with each one of these books. The blogger goes on to talk about the action figure variant of America number one as well as the Scotty Young variant as well. So several different books associated with America Chavez that might be of interest to you. The link to this blog post down in the description, take some time to check it out for yourself. So there you have it. We have reached the end of another recap video and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, I certainly want to encourage you to leave your comments down in the description. I also want to encourage you guys to stay tuned to all of the social media uh, channels associated with Go Collect. They are in the process of launching their video game price guide. And there are a lot of folks out there that collect comics as well as graded video games. So you definitely don't want to miss when this service goes online. With that said, if you truly enjoyed this recap, I want to encourage you to come back next week when we get to do this all over again.